Hello everybody. Now today we have start about phylum Annelida. These are the four, uh, phylum which are also called ring worm phylum because the maximum animal in this having ring like ring worm like structure. There are having bilateral symmetry. They are animals having triploblastic germ layers. So they, uh, the germ layers are maybe ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm in nature. They are all having organ system level of organization they, uh, they, this animals having a organ system level of organization the gut system is always complete they have complete gut system present in that animals from mouth to tail anus their excretory system consists called tubules called nephridia they having nervous system include circumentric ganglionic nerve things this uh, animals having parapodia for locomotion. The animals having multiple segmented body. These animals having body wall which is contractile in nature. They are soft bodied animals. They are expired by their body surface. The body is covered by cuticle. As you see here, the example of earthworm has many segmented of the body is divided into many segments here the main feature of this earthworm is that they are hermaphrodite in nature they having both male and female sex organ in a single animals they having closed circulatory system the first segment of their annelid uh, is called prostomium and after that post peristomium their cleavage is always spiral in nature they having osmone regulation shown by these animals they having metameric segmentation these animals having red blood is red due to presence of hemoglobin these animals having nephridia for excretion and osmone regulation respectively elementary canal is straight and complete they having ring groves and called annulae they are all trucilomates animals. The body have tube within tube body plan. They mostly live in moist environments. The body possesses three separate sections: a prosmium, a trunk, and pygidium. The body cavity have trucilium. Larva is called trochophore larva. They are having circular and longitudinal muscles both in the body of body wall and gut wall. That's all about annelids.